Hi, I'm Amanda Hyman, the teen sex book manager from the Masakani Center. And I'm Kenetta McCann, the teen sex educator from the Masakani Center. And tomorrow is World AIDS Day, so we had some current news and local events that we'd like to talk to you about. In current news, if you see headlines this Wednesday about Lady Gaga and Kim Kardashian giving up on social media, don't be alarmed. Along with Usher, Elijah Wood, Justin Timberlake, Janelle Monet, and Jennifer Hudson, they're participating in a stunt to promote World AIDS Day in which they will kill off their cyber cells for one day as part of a digital life sacrifice. The idea was, to ha was hatched by singer Alicia Keys to raise money for her charity, Keep a Child Alive. And as part of the Buy Life promotion, the celebrities were urged fans to donate to a charity in order to buy back their online present. Fans can text their names to the celebrity they are mourning over mm -hmm. to 90999, and $10 will instantly be donated to the cost. Kardashian is among the participants who have posed for the post for a poster to bring attention to the effort. In it, she lies in a casket while wearing a cocktail dress and clutching her cell phone. Celebrities such as Megan Tweeter and Ryan Seacrest have agreed to sign off all social networks on Tuesday until they raise a million dollars for World AIDS Day. Seacrest has even videotaped a last tweet and testament representing his digital death for his Facebook page that will be linked to from his final tweet earlier Tuesday morning. In another tape, plea, Jennifer Hudson says, come on y'all, buy my life back. Go on a shopping spree and buy as much of it as you can. Keep a child alive, helps provide money for medical care and support services for children and families impacted by HIV and AIDS in Africa and India. Janelle Monet and Key's, and Key's husband, producer Swiss Beats, have also filmed last tweet and testament clips and been photographed in coffins. It is so important to shock you in, to the point of waking up, Keys told the Associate Press. It's not that people don't care or it's not that people don't want to do something. It's that they never thought of it quite like that. This is such a direct and instantly emotional way to get people to pay attention. To learn more, go to buyalife.com. Or buylife.com. Some local statistics about Newark. As of June 30th, 2009, in a study that was conducted, there are 5,837 cases of HIV or AIDS. Um, Newark residents that are living with HIV and AIDS have a variety of transmissions, um, categories include male-to-male -male sexual contact, injection drug use, male-to-male -male sexual contact and injection drug use, heterosexual contact, and risk not reported. In terms of total cases, the majority of percentages fall within heterosexual contact at 2,476 cases, 42%. Second in line is injection drug use, which is 1,795, which accounts for 31% of reported cases. Uh, local happenings for World AIDS Day. World AIDS Day. On Wednesday, December 1st, 2010, which is tomorrow, NJCRI will be hosting its annual World AIDS Day event at Newark Symphony Hall, which is located at 1020 Broad Street in Newark, New Jersey. The special guest will be Miss Melba Moore. Keynote presenters include Councilwoman Mildred Crump, Councilman Ron Rice, and Councilman Raz J. Baraka. There will be free refreshments, food, and raffles for awesome stuff like iPods, laptops, different giveaways, um, educational packages, a mobile dentist, and best of all, free testing for HIV and STIs. The mobile dentist service for, is for children ages 18 and under, and their screening will supply cleanings, fill-ins, x-rays, etc. Those of you who may be interested in signing your children up for that day, please pre-register pre with Tamara Bush today. For more information, you can also contact Tamara Bush at NJCRI. The phone number is 1-888-688-9097. So those are some of the things that are going on and um, some of the news that's happening. And this is brought to you by the Masakane Center.